Top Thrill 2 is quickly getting revved up for riders as it prepares for its official grand opening debut this season at Cedar Point. Whether you're a hardcore coaster enthusiast or gearing up for your very first rides, there is many things to go over and know about Top Thrill 2 just before riding. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing everything that you need to know just before riding the all new for 2024 Top Thrill 2 at Cedar Point. I am Katie and welcome to Katie's Coasters. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and now buckle up and let's dive right into this. Getting off with everything you need to know before riding the all new Top Thrill 2 at Cedar Point, first we'll be going over the ride's elements and features. Top Thrill 2 will be known as the world's tallest, fastest, and longest triple launch Stratocoaster. If you did not already know, a Stratocoaster is any coaster that reaches a height of anywhere between 400 and 499 feet. Top Thrill 2 features a 420 foot top hat and a massive 420 foot vertical spike. When the ride begins, riders will be launched during the first launch at a speed of 74 miles per hour, then making it a little more than halfway up the top hat and rolling backwards down that top hat where you will receive that iconic rollback, and of course coming backwards down and hitting that launch track once more again, reaching speeds of up to 101 miles per hour backwards. These speeds will be taking riders quickly backwards up that massive 420 foot spike. Can you imagine how thrilling this will feel and of course all those incredible views of Cedar Point? Then surely enough, riders will be dropping back down, speeding past that station yet again as the train will be hitting the launch track for its third and final launch, revving up to the ride's top speed of 120 miles per hour. This insane speed will be quickly taking you all the way up and over that 420 foot top hat and quickly twisting you and dropping you back down the other side where you will hit the finish line and have completed your race for the sky on Top Thrill 2. And I am pretty sure once you get off, you will soon want to hop back in that line right after to ride some more. The minimum height requirement that is eligible to ride Top Thrill 2 is 52 inches. So for those little ones who are aspiring to be coaster enthusiasts themselves that are under the height of 52 inches, I hope you can grow super fast so that you can very soon experience the thrill of Top Thrill 2. Just give it some time, but it will be worth it. Now, when exactly will Top Thrill 2 open for public riders? Well, officially, Top Thrill 2 will open on Saturday, May the 4th, but wait, there is a way that you can ride Top Thrill 2 before the official opening date if you are a Cedar Point Pass Holder. Cedar Point's Pass Holder previews will be held on April 28th through the 30th and also May 1st through May 2nd. These preview events will be only open to Cedar Point Gold, Prestige, and Summer Pass Holders. But keep in mind, this is the first come first serve event and each Pass Holder will be only limited to one ride on Top Thrill 2. If you are unable to make it to any of those Pass Holder preview dates, like I said, Top Thrill 2 will officially open to the public on Saturday, May the 4th, which will also be Cedar Point's grand 2024 opening day. So as we know, the hype and excitement surrounding Top Thrill 2 has been pretty strong ever since this ride first got announced. So with that, what could the expected wait times for this new coaster look like during opening weekend at Cedar Point? Well, potentially, I could see Top Thrill 2 having a minimum or average wait time of around 4 hours during opening weekend. Pretty steep, I know, but hopefully that's not fully the case right? I guess we will just have to simply wait and see. If we look back on when the park's last major coaster opened, being in 2018 with Steel Vengeance, during opening weekend, I heard that some of the highest waits that ride got up to was seven hours. That is like absolutely insane. Can you imagine waiting seven hours just for one two to three minute ride? That's crazy. So with that, like I said, I could see Top Thrill 2's wait during opening weekend and even some of the following weekends after be pretty steep as well. But who knows, like I said, we will just simply have to wait and see. Coming off of what we just said with a long Top Thrill 2 expected wait times during opening weekend, wouldn't it be great if there was a way where you could just skip that monstrous line and get right on and ride Top Thrill 2? Well, thankfully there is, and it's called Fast Lane. Now, before this turns you off, hear me out. Sure, it may seem pricey, but I am telling you, personally, I am a believer that in order to have the best possible day at Cedar Point overall, investing in Fast Lane is the only way to go. Especially if you are visiting the park on a Saturday and wanting to ride everything and maybe even a few extra rides. 
But now, especially with the opening of Top Thrill 2 and knowing how long that line can easily be, that really should make you consider Fast Lane. Now, keep in mind, if you purchase a Fast Lane for the day, single-use ride Fast Lane or redeem your single-use Prestige Fast Lane for Top Thrill 2, you will only be limited to riding Top Thrill 2 once per visit. So yes, that is definitely a bit of a bummer, but hey, one ride is better than no rides. Now, I do want to point out and mention that if you have purchased the 2024 all-season Fast Lane, you are eligible, wait for it, unlimited rides all day, any day that the park is open to ride Top Thrill 2. Yes, you heard me, unlimited rides on Top Thrill 2. Now, keep in mind that the all-season Fast Lane is way pricier than just one day Fast Lane, but if you are a hardcore Cedar Fair Park visitor like myself, all season definitely can be really worth it. So if you plan to visit Cedar Point a lot in the 2024 season and want to ride Top Thrill 2 as much as possible, I would definitely recommend considering the all season fast lane as it might be the best option for you. Next up, we're going to be talking safety. Recently, Cedar Point has shared with us all of the new safety measures that will be implemented with Top Thrill 2. First off, like we already said before, the minimum height requirement to ride Top Thrill 2 is 52 inches. If you enjoy wearing your sunglasses on rides and coasters, you can wear yours on Top Thrill 2 as long as they are secured tightly with a glasses strap to your head. And obviously, no holding any items during the ride as well. As for shoes go, you are not permitted to wear any loose-fitting shoes without a strap, such as flip-flops, sandals, and etc. As for Top Thrill 2's loose article policy goes, absolutely no loose articles are permitted on Top Thrill 2 or even in the line queue. Kind of just like how Steel Vengeance works. You will be metal detected at the ride's entrance before going in the queue. This even means no zip pockets of any kind, as well as fanny packs either. So if you do have any loose articles that are with you, you're permitted to leave them with a non-rider or place them in a rented locker offered right in front of Top Thrill 2's entrance. I know this all can sound a bit strict, but honestly, it's to keep all of the riders and bystanders waiting in line safe. So I very much respect Cedar Point for making these strict laws in order to better protect us and have the most fun experience possible on Top Thrill 2. Now lastly, with the final thing I know a lot of people are wondering, how will Top Thrill 2 compare to the rest of the thrill coasters at Cedar Point? Me personally, I can easily see Top Thrill 2 being in the top three rides at Cedar Point. Maybe, just maybe, even a bit higher depending on how it rides. Unlike Steel Vengeance, this ride will focus more on the fast speed and intensity, as Steel Vengeance mainly focuses on the airtime. Now I don't want to count out there's a good chance of getting a nice pop of airtime on Top Thrill 2 as you go over that top hat, but overall Top Thrill 2 seems to bring the full package of such a massive ride that's filled with incredible speed, hang time from the spike, and intensity. I can't wait to finally ride Top Thrill 2 soon to give you a better honest review on the ride, but until then, these are my top 7 points that I believe everyone should know before riding Cedar Point's all new for 2024, Top Thrill 2. I would love to know in the comments below how excited you are for Top Thrill 2 and where you think this new ride will rank amongst Cedar Point's other roller coasters. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a like and also make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out everybody!